Hi, my name is Kimberly with Beauty by Sewn and I'm here today to show you how I get ready for working from home and the video conferences that I do every day to help define my eyes, show off my features and not look like it's too much. And wanted to show you the quick, easy steps that I do with a few products with a little bit of time to make myself look like myself just a little bit better. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna do a quick, let's get ready for that video conference we have today, uh, makeup. And no matter what time you're doing your makeup, whether or not it's, you know, first thing in the morning, even halfway through the day, I want you to refresh your skin. Find a tonic, a hydrating lotion uh, to refresh the skin and give it that sort of uh, restart uh, before you apply makeup. This will pick up maybe any little bit of dirt, any excess oil, and really just help prep that canvas for makeup and make your skin feel a little bit more awake. I'm finding too, for video conferences, you don't wanna have your skin look super glowy, dewy, cause then it can actually look bad glowy, which is greasy. I'm using a lightweight lotion, fortunate enough to have a little sublimage, uh, La Fluide, and I'm going to help to hydrate my skin, give it some moisture that I know will absorb quickly throughout the day. Again, not leaving too much of a greasy finish to the skin. It's gonna really absorb quickly and hydrate. So I have no other makeup on. And I can see right now, even that little bit of that glow on the forehead, you know, you can see it in this brighter light, the cheeks. So when I'm gonna step back, we'll look at my skin again before we wrap quickly. And you wanna make sure that you're only seeing glow actually, sort of on the cheeks, maybe a little bit above the lip, maybe the ball of the nose, but I don't wanna see too much glow or grease here on my forehead. So that's something that you'll wanna check as well. So let's now even out the skin tone. It's hydrated. I have a bit of a subtle glow, which again, we're gonna check before um, you know I shut down and go on to my video conference. I'm gonna use a lightweight tinted moisturizer. Again, in video, you know, you can see makeup um, quite easily. So you don't have to look overdone. You just wanna feel polished and refreshed. So using your fingers to apply your foundation will actually give the most sheer application out of your formula. And applying this tinted moisturizer, it's called Vita Lumiere Aqua, and it's a water-based uh, foundation that actually has an SPF 15 in it. So I have been going for frequent walks around the block. My dog is wondering he's, what he had to do to get so lucky to get the, all of these walks. But again, you know, any exposure to outside, you wanna make sure that you do have that sunscreen onto your skin. So you notice I've applied that uh, tinted moisturizer using my fingers, pressing it onto my skin, start at the center of the face, blend out, and applying a little bit also under my eyes helps to, you know, add to that brightness. I do have a darker under eye that's deeper set. So for me, that's my area that I love to always conceal. So now I do want to also build on that concealing and I'm going to go for a concealer. And concealer is great because it can be either match the skin tone if you want it to be a really natural color or you can have it one to two shades brighter if you really want a lifted look. So today because it's again natural, I don't want to look overdone, glam, ready for my video work conference. I want to look like myself at my best. I'm gonna use a natural shade of concealer and I'm applying that right into that inner corner of the under eye and then right in under the eye and dabbing. Now this Chanel Le Corrector I am obsessed with because it doesn't settle into fine lines. I find that this shade for myself, number 31, has a little bit of a neutralizing as well as brightening effect. So I'm tapping and pressing now that concealer um, using my ring finger. Your ring finger is the weakest finger on your hand and this will help to pat, press the product under the eye without tugging or pulling. And then a little trick, I always like taking a little bit of that concealer, just whatever's left right under my brow bone to brighten. And you can see naturally, you know, whatever color is on your eyelid is, can be actually inspiration for great uh, nude or neutral eyeshadow. So again, just tapping and pressing right under the eyes. 
And if you're somebody who's a little bit more afraid of concealer, I promise you, you will fall in love with this formula from Chanel. Um, I, you know, I'm always aware of like, if it's creasing or wrinkling under my eyes or highlighting texture, I really do like this formula. I find a little goes a long way. So I'm somebody who does like more versus less. For concealer, if you like a little less, go for a little less. So because I've used a concealer that's the shade, same shade as my face, I can actually bring that concealer where I have any spots or extra redness, which is often around the nose, maybe at the chin, or if I have a little spot friend that's visited me along the way. So I've got a bit of hydration. We've evened out my skin tone. I've brightened the under eye. Now we wanna bring color into the face. So I am going to go and pick up a powder bronzer and the bronzer for me is because if you always sort of step back and check, you wanna make sure that your chest, neck, and face are all the same tone. If you start really looking even on TV, sometimes you'll see the face is say more even or paler than um, whoever's speaking on TV's neck or chest. And bronzer is that tool that you would use to fix that. So I love putting a little bit of bronzer onto my neck to help color connect chest, neck, and then I'll bring that right up into my cheek and I can see right away that that chest neck into the face is helping to look like a seamless transition of color. I have a larger forehead, so I'm just dusting that color again through the perimeter of my forehead. I have a mirror right over here and I'm using a color called number 50 and it's in this amazing formula, um, Les Beige, and it's a pressed powder that is, can be used actually as a face powder for richer skin tones, but this color for me is my perfect bronzer. And you can see now that I've brought it through my neck, up onto my cheekbones, under my jawline, I can then apply a little bit more where the sun would hit my face. If you're really feeling tired or peaked, I find a little bit of bronzer can go a long way. Smile, applying it to the apples of the cheeks, high points of the face, nose, chin, and even a little bit sometimes on the eye. So it's that wow factor for me that I find really helps to wake up my face. Um, and I really can't leave home and I'm not leaving home, um, but I have bronzers with me year round. Now I'm gonna go and use blush. So blush, I love, love, love blush. It's actually my hashtag on Instagram is hashtag blush fairy. And using blush, a different brush, I don't want the pink from my bronzer on the different brushes and pink and brown everywhere. I'm gonna apply blush right onto where I would see color if I pinched my cheeks or came in from the outdoors. And just that soft, natural pink that also helps to pull the color you can see from my lips. So finding that blush color that mimics the color found in your lips is a great way to add natural pink to your cheeks versus looking too Cupid's doll or too sort of ornate. And when you apply blush, make sure that you're starting apple the cheek. You want to go back towards the top of your ear and then down. So it is a little bit like that letter C and you can over blend all you want because you don't want your blush to be sitting on your skin. If you could draw a line around that blush on your skin, then you know it's not blended enough. Using the same brush, not going back for more, just smile and blend, blend, blend. So now we have got color, my skin tone is even, and I wanna define my features. So I don't know about you, but my brows need some ASAP help and we haven't gotten there yet, being busy, working from home, homeschool, mom mode. So this is where I go to uh, a brow tint because it's gonna add soft definition without worrying about all the little hairs that need to be groomed and taken care of. So using a brow tint, I am brushing it through and up all my brow hairs, and then using the tip of the brow gel, just making sure that they all brush over. And you can see it gives a little bit of natural tint, not too much definition, um, but it's also making sure that the brow color matches the hair on my head. So what may happen is all those little fuzzy hairs um, may pick up a little bit of color 
And as I've always said in all my videos, make sure that you have a few Q-tips when you're doing your makeup. So I am just gonna make sure you can take the Q-tip, pick up any remaining color. The biggest thing when you're doing your makeup, especially for a more relaxed approach, don't worry too much about details. Just gently tap, press it away. And that's a good thing about makeup is it always can come off. So we've defined the brows. I've got natural skin. I've put a little bit of color into my face. We still want to keep defining. I'm going to actually just keep my lids natural. I, for videos, I want people to see my eyes versus, woo, wow, Kim, look at all that eyeshadow. I do love the blue of my eyes. So something that I learned along the way was for blue eyes, you can do blue liner. Green eyes, do a little bit of green liner. Brown eyes, brown eyeliner. And you can also do opposite colors. So for a supernatural look, you could just use taupes, browns, bronzes. I'm gonna add a little pop of fun and use Le Line de Chanel. And this is in a gorgeous cobalt blue. And applying the liner just very, very thin, right tight along the lash line, all you're gonna see is a subtle, 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 subtle hint of a liner. Again, there's that Q-tip where I wanna make sure that the liner doesn't go below my upper lash line and go down to my lower lash line. So my eye is open. I'm pulling that color to meet the crease. And again, working with the flat side of the liner brush, all I'm doing is gently pressing the liner along the root of the lash and not trying to make a line, just more tinting that lash line for a hint of added definition. So you don't have to make your liner perfect. Just by adding that tint of color, you're gonna see that it helps to instantly pop open the eyes. So now I've got that hint of blue on my eyes, which I love because it makes my eyes look bluer. And again, when you're thinking about talking to video, you're conferencing with people, you want people to look at your eyes, not stare at all that makeup. Then no matter liner, no liner, um, eyeshadow, no eyeshadow, definitely put on mascara. However much you want is up to you. I could go on and on and on about <laughs> mascara and how much I love applying mascara. If you're applying one coat, three coats, seven coats, the trick to how to apply it is this. You wanna think about your eye three-sided and you wanna apply mascara starting first at the outside. So you wanna press it right to the root of the lash and then zigzag up. Then going to the center of the eye, you wanna press it to the root of the lash, zigzag up. Inner corner, press it to the root, zigzag up. So that that pressing right into the root, you're gonna again, tint that lash line which is gonna help give definition, and then zigzag the color right up the lashes so that your formula is getting all over the lash and you're making the most out of the formula and softly defining also your lashes. So the more coats you do, the more dramatic the look. So I'm gonna stop there because I get very fixated on mascara. I love this formula, it's Le Volume from Chanel, it's their one of their original formulas and I am in love with it. So I've added definition, I've got a soft brow, I've got a little bit of color, and last but not least, I wanna give something to my lips. And going just nude or bare for me, my lips are very pale, so I do need a hint of definition. And this is a formula called Rouge Coco Flash, and I'm using uh, shade number 116. I just quickly picked it up. I liked the color because it mimics the color I can see is almost my lip. So it's my nice soft nude. And applying a little bit of that hydration also is nice. It's not too glossy, it's not too va va boom. But again, I've added definition so that when I'm speaking, you know, again, I see a defined lip. I've now got defined eyes, defined brow. I've got a little bit of color into my face and I can now go start my video conference, look like myself, only a little bit better and focus on what I need to. Wishing you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Huge hugs, any feedback, comments, more content you wanna see, please, please, please post below. Huge hugs. Thank you.